Let us prepare on the TRB Polytechnic exam 2017 civil engineering question paper. Question number 16. Shear stress across the principal plane is dash. So across the principal plane always the shear stress will be zero only so that the option D is the right answer. And then the area of shear force diagram between two points of a span. So if you take the area of the shear force diagram means you will be getting the bending moment of that particular value. So you can write the change in bending moment between the two points. So option B is your right answer. Then question 18. The maximum shear stress is equal to half of the difference of the principal stress. So tau max will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 where these both are the, the maximum principal stress and minor principal stress and uh, it can also be sometimes sigma 1 by 2 or sigma 2 by 2 alone. So generally we will be telling the difference between the stresses divided by 2. So here the answer is half of the difference of the principal stress. So option C will be your answer. And then question number 19, the angular twist in a solid circular shaft of diameter d and length l subjected to torque t is theta. So they have given the angular twist value as theta for a separate segment. And the next line, angular twist in another similar shaft of half of the length subjected to same torque t. So which is uh, having the same torque t but the length is alone half of the length of the previous one. So now we have to find the theta that is the angular twist. So in this case if you see means the formula for theta is TL by CJ. So here T is the torsion value and L is the length. So this both is alone enough for us because they have not given anything about C and J for the two cases. So we can keep the CJ value as the same for both. So for theta 2 we can write it as TL by 2 because the length is L by 2. So if the theta 1 is that is the angular twist for the first segment is theta. That means the theta 2 will be obviously half of that only. So it will be 0.5 theta 1. So you can write answer as 0.5 theta 1. So here the answer is 0.5 theta. So question number 20. In a thin wall T section, the shear center is located at which point? So if you see the shear center means it is actually the intersection of the bending axis and the cross section of that particular object. So from these four diagrams you can tell that A is the right answer because other three options are not having their shear center at the correct position. Question number 21. The moment of inertia of a semicircular suction about its center of gravity parallel to xx axis is given by dash. So we have to find the ixx and also we'll be studying the ixx and iyy for certain basic diagrams. So for this semicircular section we know the ixx. So the ixx is actually 0.11 r power 4. So this only we'll be studying basically. So now in the question they have given in terms of d. So we have to convert it into d. So that is the only thing we have to do now. So we have to substitute d by 2 instead of r and you'll be getting the value as 0.0069 d power 4. So the option b will be your right answer. Question number 22. The principle of impulse and momentum is given by dash. So in all the four options they have given the initial momentum, impulse and final momentum only in various combination. So from this you can clearly tell that only the initial momentum and impulse only will give your final momentum. So that the option A will be your right answer. Question number 23. The shear stress distribution across a symmetrical I section is given. So four various diagrams are given. So from the diagrams itself you can tell that option A is the right answer. Question number 24. The weight of a hollow shaft shall be calculated using dash. So the weight means itself it is density into volume only. So the density we can write it as rho into g and the volume of the hollow shaft is pi by 4 d1 square minus d2 square that is the area into length will give your volume. So now you see the options means rho g pi by 4 d square minus di square into l will give your answer. This is the outer diameter and inner diameter. So option a will be the right answer here. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव द टैंजन शियल और शियर स्ट्रेस ऑन ऑब्लिक प्लेन एट एन एंगल टीटा टू द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ अ बॉडी विच इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ डायरेक्ट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस सो इफ वन डे द टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस अलोन इज एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी मीन्स इट्स शियर स्ट्रेस विल बी इक्वल टू सिग्मा बाई टू साइन टू टीटा द आंसर इज सी थैंक यू एंड कीप वॉचिंग फॉर द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आंसर डिस्कशन